Hi, I'm Dennis Gage. Thanks for tuning in to My Classic Car, home with a certified car nut. Well, this week we're in Ocala, Florida to check out a couple fabulous Fords from the collection of Jim and Rick Schmidt. We're going to look at a couple different approaches Ford took to letting the sun shine in. We've got a 64 Galaxy XL500 convertible and a 58 Skyliner retractable hardtop. These are both incredible cars. So I say we get right to work. That is, if you can actually call this work. Check them out. Hey Rick, good to see you again man. Great to see you Dennis. <laughs> Looks like we've got a Ford theme going today. We've got a Ford theme going today, back <laughs> to the Fords, and uh, and it's a uh, convertible theme too, which is odd for us because we don't have a lot of convertibles Yeah, well this one's collection. obviously a convertible, this one less obvious. That's we'll a little less that. obvious, yeah, right? It's a convertible. <laughs> well this car is a fave of mine, you know, the 64 Galaxy 500 XL convertible. And then on top of that, peacock blue. She's gorgeous and she's, you know, it's straight, it's massive, mm -hmm. but man this interior isn't yes. that dynamite? That is dynamite. I've, I've always been a fan of the XL Galaxies, 63, 4, 5, all have just, you know, yeah. great interiors. And they, even when you, at night when you open the doors and, and, and see where they position the lights to, to highlight things in the interior, they even, you know, <laughs> they were even putting a lot of thought into that. So. Well, you know that the, the speedometer is just like that. I mean, it's like this thing's been sitting on a showroom floor all its life. It's like a brand new... Speed yeah, that's, that's what really you know sold me on the car and, and appealed to me was there just wasn't so often when you when you get into a restored car it's those little details that mm -hmm. show you the haggard past that exactly. the car had. <laughs> you look at the dash and then all of a sudden oh boy yeah, you know right, you, you, yeah. you see these little hints of the uh, junkyard it got it got drug but out of. This just this, looks this, perfect. This, there's just nothing sh falling short on this car. And it's uh, brand new. dealer installed uh, AC there. Mm -hmm. And it works. Blows cold. Blows cold. We can use it if we need it. Uh, console shift and everything. Go, I mean, even a, even a, a, a glass rear window? Glass, glass rear window. window. Wow, that's really nice. That's, that's, it looks better. It's easier to deal with over time. It doesn't yellow. Yeah, it doesn't turn frosty. <laughs> and see how, but yeah, I mean, there's so much uh, trim on this car, and a lot of this is very light, very thin metal, thin yes. gauge metal. And boy, I can't believe mm -hmm. how straight it is. Yeah, all the trim on the car is just a dynamite. The, 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 the undercarriage of the car is, is done to just as uh, nice as standards as the top of the wow. car. Now, you got a new engine up there, rebuilt engine, 390, right? 390, four uh, barrel. Work hard, workhorse engine for Ford. Let's yes. go have a look at that. Baby. All right, let's go take, take a, a look at it. long walk. <laughs> wow, it's even got the chrome dress up on it too, right? Yes, this car's got everything. Thunderbird I, I, valve covers. Mm -hmm. And you, you know, here again, even inside, you've got all this great looking what appears to be NOS stuff, I mean, of course, an auto light battery, but even your starter solenoid that, looks like NOS. That's a new old stock star, wow. starter solenoid. It's a new old stock uh, uh, washer bag. There's a lot of little details what in you, here. Where do you guys find all this stuff? You, you and your dad, <laughs> I mean, you, you got a line on all this stuff. It's, it's, <laughs> it's still floating around out there, you know? People, the, the people keep hoarding it and then uh, metering it out on eBay one piece at a time. <laughs> and you guys have got a line on all of that. <laughs> Well, I tell you, a beautiful day. I mean, it, and it looks great with the top up. But I say, we put the top down and test out this freshly rebuilt 390. What do you say? Absolutely, you'll like it. I know I will. <laughs> All right. Welcome back to my classic car. Ooh, very nice. <laughs> very Imp nice. Impulse starts. That's what we shoot for. <laughs> what a day for a drive. Very light touch on the steering. Yeah, doesn't it have a nice steering it on it? It does. Today they would call that overboosted. Yeah, yeah, they I really always kind of like it. <laughs> it's it's fingertip for sure. Right. Now you haven't even had this on the road that long, have you? No, we we really got the engine uh, dropped back into it, and like I said, I, I drove it home and back for one shakedown run to sort some things out. Drew up a punch list for our guys to wiggle through, and then you were the second guy behind the wheel. Wow. I am honored. <laughs> I am truly honored. This was not a real common color for the Galaxy, though. You don't see many in this peacock color. No, I can't remember seeing a convertible in the peacock. I've seen a hardtop or two mm -hmm. before, in my memory, but 
you know, and, and it's a fairly shocking color for something this big, you know. There's a lot of peacock here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this, this baby's a dream to drive. And in my book, you got it in the right color. Yeah, yeah it's just it's got a beautiful shape to it. It's one of those kind of cars that you, that you can study and you notice different details every time you walk around it. But I'm, I'm just taken by that speedometer. That just looks brand new. But it, you know, holds good temperature. It, it, it doesn't wander. Uh, it, it's a beautiful car. This is like this is like being back at '64. Well, that's that's part of the challenge. Is, is it's no fun to go out cruising in a car that that has a bunch of problems. Uh, no, it's it not. Takes, it takes all the fun out of the, <laughs> the hobby. So that still, you know, perplexes me how many how many restored cars just don't get it done. That's what frustrates me so much with so many restorations. You know, the cars that we buy already restored is that's where the restoration seems to end. Uh -huh. They get the car thrown together, barely, barely enough to where it will get on on and off a trailer, and it's done. <laughs> and it's 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 it was done and sold. Yeah. It's it's so much work. I mean, anybody that takes on a restoration, I just mm -hmm. admire them because it's it's and it's an art. Uh, it's a gift. People that can do it. Well, you you do it all and you do it right. Welcome back to My Classic Car. Oh man, that Galaxy is sweet. <laughs> you do have that run off of like, <laughs> Man, I love those cars. Yeah, it's nice. But this, this is an interesting car. This is one of what I've always considered Ford's mechanical marvels. Yes. The retractable hardtop. 1958 Ford uh, Skyliner. Skyliner, which right. Which is a retractable hardtop. And yeah, it's a, com it's a complexity. <laughs> <laughs> Poetry in motion. I, well now, 58, uh, they went to the two headlights up front. 57 mm -hmm. was just single, and 58 and 9 were both dual headlights. But otherwise, this and a 59 aren't very different, or are they? Um, actually, this has more in common with a 57 really? than it does a 59. The 58 Ford, they, they really did a good job of, of masking what essentially is the, the 57 Ford body. Uh -huh. the, these dual headlights, if you and and the big grill and the huge tail lights in the back. All that sort of just tacked on. If you ignore all of that and just look at the body line and the shape, it's, 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 really it's a fifty-seven thing. Ford, just with some uh, some uh, dress up done to it. But you know the other thing that's surprising because the thing looks like a really big car, but it's it's actually it's fairly narrow. narrow. Yeah. I mean, compared to that Galaxy where you can't reach the other the other door panel, mm -hmm. this one is actually a fairly narrow car. Well, I think I think across the the line, the '50s cars that look so big, if you actually look at them from behind, they, they, they weren't yeah, terribly wide, yeah. with the exception of the Cadillacs. Now, you know, they knew how to do interiors mm -hmm. in the '50s too, and I love I love this interior. The fabric in these '50s cars is great. Is that when you redid it? Is that that's 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 a, uh, the the correct fabric? It's a reproduction, but it's very 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 close to being genuine. You know, and, and, and otherwise it's a, you know, it's a fairly simple dash, mm -hmm. um, you know, kind of 50s Ford dash, but... But the but, red and white really plays great off the white exterior. Oh, man. You, know, you, would, you would think that a white, that a all white retractable would be kind of a yawn, but this red interior just really brightens it It brings it up. alive, mm -hmm. yeah. And, and, and again, I mean, the fabric's great, and I just love, I love the, the white accent to it, and I mean, she's... And is that a, it's a three on the tree? It's a, <laughs> a three, this thing's a three on the tree? It's a 332 with a three on the tree. I've, <laughs> I've, never, I've never seen another retractable of any year with that drive line in it. It's, it's got to be rare. It may be the only one still wow. puffing out there. Interesting taillight setup. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it's kind of well. If you remember the '57 retractable, because because of of, of the yeah. way that it has to be designed, there is an awful lot of acre of just blank, empty acreage here on the tail. Yeah. Because it just had that little single headlight. So at least on the '58, it gets filled up with something. And yeah, a lot was... of people w were kind of polarized on whether or not they liked the '58 styling and the and the tail lamps. But on the retractable, it actually helps improve things because otherwise you've just got this big flat bathtub of, of metal yeah. back here with well and it looks almost like it you know if you look at it, it's almost truck tailgate looking mm -hmm. you know so she's flat and across right. there it almost feels like it's a ranchero you right. could fold that down or something and the fuel filler is relocated to the quarter panel because mm, you can't sure. get the neck right. down to right. go down through the middle of the roof so so there's an awful lot of uh of subtle differences to a retractable 
Now you said this has a, a 332? 332, that was the, uh, that was the Bottom uh, lowest displacement engine. of the Ford Edsel uh, uh, engine family. Well, let's, let's go look at the uh, 332. All right. Ford's safety hood. Oh, and yep. V8 Interceptor. <laughs> Interceptor, all 332 <laughs> cubic inches of it. Hey, I'm not even sure I've ever seen a 332. Um, and that's a, an interesting block color. Yes, and uh, and from what I'm uh, told, that's the only, 1958, only on the 332 did they use that green. Wow, wow. So. Well, she's really beautiful. This Is a, is this a fairly recent restoration, or you had this done for a while? Uh, we've had it done, I want to say, for about uh, two years now. And it, run, it makes good power. You, you'll be surprised when you drive this just how well that 332 pulls. Well, uh, you know... It, 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 the car wants for nothing more. So. Uh, it's, it's a, again, perfect match engine to car, perfect day. Yep. Let's let's put this uh, hood down, let's put this top down. Let's cross down. our fingers and feet. <laughs> put works. that roof down, right? <laughs> All right, sounds good. <laughs> and we'll go for a cruise. Welcome back to My Classic Car. like a Formula One car, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sort of. <laughs> but you know, it is, it's, it's, it's interesting because what, there's uh, seven years difference in, in these two cars, six years difference, I guess. Mm -hmm. And it, they really, they really are different. They, this drives like a 50s car and that, the Galaxy drove like a, a 60s car. Ford and GM both learned so much about chassis dynamics in the 60s and just with each year, yeah. you, can, you can see where they were going. Have you noticed when you just give it a little bit of gas that it's got nice, Nice torque and it's power. It's surprising. It doesn't, usually when you go with the base engine in anything, it, it, it feels like it's it's having to overwork to, mm -hmm. to move the car. Well, this is a strangely optioned car. Yes. You know, littlest engine, three on the tree, didn't have power windows originally, right? Right. But a retractable hardtop. But a retractable hardtop. But the interesting thing is I think they really pulled it off because it works well as a hard top and it works well as a, as a convertible. Mm -hmm. You know, there really aren't the rattles and stuff you'd expect there to be when the top's up. These things are pretty solid. Yeah. And you can even tell just even looking out over the hood, it's not a very wide car. No. What I do really like, I, I like the way a three on the tree shifts. I like having the shifter here. I think it's convenient. Mm -hmm. I've owned a couple of automatics for daily drivers. Never fell in love. I've sold them all, and I don't sell many things. <laughs> no, I've noticed that. <laughs> you know, I, I like the placement of the of the dual mirrors in this car. They're mm -hmm. out there, and you can actually use both of them. Because in right. the Galaxy, that other one was decorative. It looked great on, on right. the car, You're half but you couldn't by see the it. <laughs> you could not mm -hmm. see it. Boy, when you have the top down, it really shows off this red and white interior too. Now this thing really screams. Yeah, I, I love this combination. I really think it's classy. <laughs> That's kind of fun. I could use this. Oh man, convertible cruising in the Florida sunshine? Today's been a blast. I gotta tell you though, Rick and his dad have got so many cars, I could be here every week. I don't know, Rick. We did 50s and 60s this time. What do you say we do 70s next time? Oh, we're stocked up on those. All Let's right. Let's do it. 70s next time. <laughs>